This is group 11 and we will be discussing about the environmental crisis and sustainable development. Environmental crisis is characterized by rapid and largely unimpractable changes in the nature of the environment where are is not difficult to reverse. Example of these are massive inter in extensions and substantial destructions of the system. Sustainable development. Sustainable development is referred to as the idea that human beings should sustain by meeting their basic needs, while also making sure that the future generations are able to meet their basic needs. Sustainable development practice help countries grow in ways that adapt to the challenges posed by climate changes which will in turn help to protect important natural resources for ours and future generations. The world's leading environmental problems Land and water pollution caused by industrial and transportation toxins in plastic. Changes in global weather patterns. Overpopulation. Exhaustion of world's natural, non-renewable resources. Waste disposal catastrophe. Destruction of million-year-old ecosystems and the loss of biodiversity. Depletion of the ozone layer. Deadly acid rain as a result of fossil fuel combustion. Urban sprawls that continue to expand. Man-made pollution. Human-made it is the pollution caused by human activities. It includes burning of fossil fuels and industries, vehicles, and thermoelectric plants, gaseous emission from industries, mining, processing, stone crushing. Most human-made air pollution comes from burning of fossil fuels for transportation, electricity, and industry. The following are the five man-made pollutions. Air pollutions. Air pollution is the contamination of air due to the presence of substances in the atmosphere that are harmful to the health of humans and other li living beings or cause damage to the cli climate or to materials. Water pollution. Water pollution, the release of substances into the subsurface, groundwater, or into lakes, stream, rivers, estuaries, and ocean to the point where the substances interfere with the beneficial use of the water or with the national functioning of ecosystem. Soil pollution, soil contamination, soil pollution or land pollution as a part of land. Degradation is accused by the presence of synobiotic, chemical or others, alteration in the natural soil environment. Ratioactive pollution the radioactive pollution is defined as the physical pollution of living organism under environment as a result of release of radioactive substances in the environment during nuclear explosion as the testing of nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons production and the decommissioning meaning of radioactive ores. Handling as social of radioactive waste and accident of nuclear power plants. Noise pollution. Noise pollution, unwanted or excessive sound that can have deleterious effects of human health, wildlife, and environmental quality. Noise pollution is commonly generated inside many industrial facilities and some other workplaces, but it is also comes from highway, railway, and airplane traffic and from outdoor construction activities. Catching up, a crisis of this scale can only be tackled by the whole of the society acting together through government. But governments, in particular, will need to do more than seal their green policies, one by one, to the public opportunistically on the basis of their incidental benefits or of hiding their cost. They will need to make a strong, bold, courageous effort to get out there and explain proactively 
to the public the depth and horror of the crisis we are in, the frightening magnitude of the threat we face and of the changes that we, collectively as a society, will need to make. They will need, in effect, to get real with the public. They probably never do that unless somebody else begins to do it first. Addressing climate change will require many solutions. There's no magic bullet, yet nearly all of these solutions exist today, and many of them hinge on humans changing the way we behave, shifting the way we make and consume energy. The required changes span technologies, behaviors, and policies that encourage less waste and smarter use of our resources. For example, improvements to energy efficiency and vehicle fuel economy, increases in wind and solar power, biofuels from organic waste, setting a price on carbon, and protecting forests are all potent ways to reduce the amount of carbon dioxide and other gases trapping heat on the planet. Climate change. Climate change refer to the long-term shift in temperature and weather pattern. The shift will be natural, but since the 1,800 humans' activities have been the drive of climate change, primarily due to the burning of fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gases, which produce heat trapping gases. These are the causes of climate change generating power, manufacturing goods, cutting down forests, using transportation, producing food, powering buildings. Following are the effects of climate change. Loss of species, warming raising ocean, increased drought, more severe storm, hotter temperature. Combating global warming. Everyone can help limit climate change. From the way we travel to the electricity we use and the food we eat, we can make a difference. Start with these actions to help tackle the climate crisis. Save energy at home. Much of our electricity and heat is powered by coal, oil, and gas. Useless energy by lowering your heating and cooling, switching to LED light bulbs and energy-efficient electric appliances, washing your laundry with cold water or hanging things to dry instead of using a dryer, walk, cycle, or take public transport. The world's roads are clogged with vehicles. Most of them burning diesel or petrol. Walking or riding a bike instead of driving will reduce greenhouse gas emissions and help your health and fitness. For longer distances, consider taking a train or bus and carpool whenever possible. Throw away less food. When you throw food away, you're also wasting your resources and energy that were used to grow, produce, package and transport it, and when food rots in a landfill, it produces methane, a powerful greenhouse gas, so use what you buy and compost any loft towers. Reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle. Electronics, clothes, and other items we buy cause carbon emissions at each point in production. From the extraction of raw materials to manufacturing and transporting goods to market, to protect our climate, buy fewer things, shop secondhand, repair what you can, and recycle. Our natural environment makes human life possible, and our cultural environment helps define who we are. It is therefore essential that our population and economic growth are environmentally sustainable. The environmental crisis is really a crisis of consciousness. Most people know the natural world is facing great challenges and degradation, but few know that through accidents of the changes and deprivation, the environment faces and its extended effects on human welfare and all other life on Earth. There is a great gap between the multitude of problems the environment faces in all fronts and the level of awareness most people have on these issues. During this critical period of human history, our generation has been given the urgent task of reversing the damages of industrial civilization and overcoming perhaps the greatest challenge humanity has ever faced. 
uniting as one conscious, sustainable points to secure the stability of our future, environmentally, economically, and socially for we call it trust the planet. Participation as an idealist in group approach, achieving objectives of development is certainly impractical. So the only practical approach is mass, public, and widespread participation in which individuals have understood the importance of the case and get enough motivation for conserving available resources.